Is L-citrulline the secret weapon to improving erections? I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're talking about how L-citrulline works, what the data is on its efficacy, and what the possible side effects are. Now, before I get into it, I want you to know that there are excellent medications that are now very affordable that your doctor can prescribe for you for erectile dysfunction like sildenafil and tadalafil. So if you wanna learn more about those, make sure you check out my previous videos where I talk all about them. Erectile dysfunction is super common. In fact, 52% of men over the age of 50 will experience issues with getting and keeping an erection when trying to have sex. And the most common cause for this is reduced blood flow to the penis. And this is because of vascular disease like high blood pressure, diabetes, and high cholesterol. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that one of the most important chemicals in our bodies for erections is called nitric oxide, or NO. This is made by specific nerve endings in the penis that stimulates the blood vessels to then produce more nitric oxide. This nitric oxide then attaches to proteins on the blood vessels, which allows them to get larger or what we call vasodilate. This then allows the smooth muscles in the penis to relax and allows blood to flow into the penis, causing the erection. And you know, I call it the ignition for your erection. Now, how does L-citrulline work? Well, I'm talking about nitric oxide, and that's because L-citrulline indirectly increases nitric oxide. It's an amino acid that's naturally produced in the body and is also found in certain foods like watermelon. And if you watched my video on L-arginine, you'll remember that L-arginine is a building block for nitric oxide, but it's often quickly broken down by enzymes in the intestines as well as the liver. L-citrulline, on the other hand, is converted to L-arginine in the kidneys and avoids all the enzymes in the GI tract and the liver that will break down the L-arginine. There's also some interesting data that L-citrulline may encourage the muscles in the penis to release a substance called VEGF, and this is vascular endothelial growth factor. It improves blood vessel function and may play a role in even creating more healthy blood vessels or restoring blood vessel function function in the penis. So it makes sense physiologically that it would work, but does it? So in 2011, researchers recruited 24 adult men who had mild to moderate reduction of penile rigidity. Now, what that means is that they could penetrate, but it wasn't satisfactory or they couldn't finish the act. And they assessed this by using something called the erectile hardness score. And people had an average erectile hardness score of three. They then gave these men 1.5 grams per day of L-citrulline divided into two doses. So 750 milligrams each dose. And each patient was actually their own control because for the first month they were given a placebo, but they didn't know it was a placebo. Then the next month they took the L-citrulline. And what they found was that in the L-citrulline group, 50% saw an improvement in in their erectile hardness score from three to four, meaning that their penis was completely hard and fully rigid, whereas only 2% of men saw the same change when they were taking the placebo. So based on this very small study, it seems that L-citrulline could work for people if they have very mild erectile dysfunction, which means like these patients, you're still getting an erection, but it's not hard enough or it doesn't last long enough. So like I said before, this is a really small study, so you have to take it with a grain of salt. The good news, however, is that L-citrulline is relatively safe and has very few side effects. But remember, the issue with all of these supplements is that there's no regulation, so we never know if what is on the label is actually in the powder or capsule that you're taking. But more importantly than trying to treat it when you get it is to try and prevent erectile dysfunction before it even starts. Work on your diet and exercise to keep your blood vessels functioning normally and your erections strong. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my video on psychogenic erectile dysfunction. This explains another cause for erectile dysfunction, which is in our brains. As always, we wanna take care of yourself because you're worth it.